I have two different size pipes. We have three eighths and quarter inch copper tubing. And we have a situation at times where we wanna telescope the pipe and go from one size to another. Now, typically people can just shove it in and then you can solder around it, but the solder's still gonna flow down. You might have too far in and it's kinda hold to, hard to hold if it's in any other position other than horizontal when you're soldering. So if it's vertical like this, it slides up and down when you're trying to do the work solo. So we have another tool here called the constrictor and really it's a tubing cutter. It has all the same components as a tubing cutter, the knob, the reamer, split groove rollers, except for the cutting wheel has been removed and replaced with a blunt wheel. The blunt wheel will press, pull, pull, put pressure on the pipe in a different manner than the cutting wheel will. The cutting wheel will split the pipe with pressure applied. The, this will more like groove the pipe. But I don't want to push it all the way in to where it could have the pipe going back and restrict the flow on the bin. We only need about an inch of pipe within there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mark it where I need it to go and where I want it to stop. But I'm not gonna keep that mark. That mark's gonna actually go away because if I have this marker and we braze right there, it could impair the braze because it's dirt. We don't want dirt, we don't want any corrosion. And I gotta sand first usually before I braze. So I wanna make sure that we do all this prep both on the inside of the pipe and the outside of the pipe before we do the constricting. So I'm gonna go about a quarter inch beyond. Whatever size the pipe is, is pretty much what I sand beyond our measurement piece. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and I would have prepped the pipe by deburring that first. This one's already been deburred. I'm just gonna go ahead and sand it on the inside. And now we're ready to constrict. So. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it in about the, the measurement that we had was an inch, and I'm about a half inch over, but that's good there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place the constrictor so it lines up evenly on the edge of the pipe here. And we're just gonna go ahead and apply a small amount of pressure. I might have to reset this because it's moving around after I get this small amount of pressure. I get my pipe where I want it, making sure we got our angles, and I'm gonna just roll it around like we're cutting a couple times. If this needs to be pushed in or adjusted, we can make sure to do that before we tighten and roll around again. Now I'm only gonna go to make a groove with the tightening. So I'm not gonna try and like I'm cutting, continue to do it until it constricts the pipe. We could keep going so far that if you tighten this enough, um, it's not doing the groove, it's actually squeezing the pipe closed and constricting it to where it's not gonna flow. And we want it to flow. So I keep going around a couple times making sure that our pipe is where we want it once it starts to get about two or three turns. Once I get the full one turn in, after I tighten it just a little bit each time, that pipe's not gonna move anymore. You see that? Now, we have a shelf, and it's almost like a swage socket, but it's not a swage socket, it's a constriction. So it'll allow the solder to go down and kind of collect here in a pocket. Uh, for us a little bit and it won't let it continue to run down and it holds the pipe in place because um, it's snug. Now I could probably try and force it and still squeeze it out here like that because it's not, I haven't constricted to the point and I'll show you where it shows on this pipe and that's important because if I have maybe taken it another turn, we're gonna start to show on this pipe and we turn quarter inch pipe down to one eighth inch pipe and that's not really what we wanna do. So. You want to just to use it to create this shelf, to create this socket, so that we can go ahead and have a good solder. Good.